Welcome to another episode of Charlie Drives. Today we're in the Ford Ranger Raptor and this is a little video um, just because I want to talk about plans. I want to talk about what is wise, what you know, what 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 should what should I do with this truck? I have absolutely loved this truck. This is this has been brilliant and I think in the last video if you haven't watched it already click up above um, I said that this is probably the best one of the best cars I've ever bought and I think it is it really it really is it's 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 great it ha I haven't had major problems with it um, I can just chuck as I said I can just chuck things in pretty carefree I can go biking with it I can do all sorts of stuff with it and it, I suppose it's it, for me it's a bit of a novelty because I've never really had a truck before and just look at it the way it looks it's fantastic it's a fantastic looking car the interior is nice it's a comfortable thing it, it's a comfortable place to be you feel so high up you feel almost invincible on the road people people avoid you in this car it's great I love it the timing of this video is probably quite good because I've had the uh, the warranty has now expired I took it to Ford and they've done a final check over of it to get, you know, it actually had to have its MOT done as well, um, but they've given it a final check over um, and uh, they actually discovered a few things which they which they very kindly sorted out for me. Um, well, I think it was the, the passenger front wheel bearing which was which was loose or, or had a bit of play in it. Um, Something that I would have almost considered to be maybe like a perish perishable item or something, uh, they've gone and sorted out under warranty, which is which is absolutely fantastic. And again, it hats off to the guys down at Marshalls Ford, uh, John Foreman. Um, he's got into the comments on YouTube previously about this, and he's the guy who looks after he, he he's the guy who looks after this car uh, when it's down there. Such a nice guy. He's so diligent as well. Um, always keeping me in the loop with what's going on managing expectations uh, has been has been really fantastic um, so thank you guys for uh, looking after me so well during the warranty period of this car and I would hope that the service would long continue and I have no doubt that it that that, that, that it wouldn't change so so um, I have to say it's really really good uh, interestingly um, there was they did make a small, a small mistake which they uh, that which they immediately put their hands up to and uh, uh, I, I, I'm, look I'm not a mechanic but from what I understand somehow uh, they managed to snap the drive shaft um, but John got on the phone he actually he actually called me himself to let me know straight away that they'd made a mistake and that I wouldn't get the car back uh, on the day that I expected it to be. Uh, and I wasn't really that bothered to be honest. I always said to them there was no, there was no major rush. So um, and and it was ready the day it was ready the day after. So to be honest with you, not a big issue. But the fact that they um, they let me know and they kept me in the loop was 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 really re really really great. And another thing that they did down while the car was actually getting uh, inspected for the uh, the sort of warranty warranty ex expiration can't speak today warranty expiration uh was they uh, they actually updated the software on on here so i've now got a completely new interface uh on here and it, uh, they did it free of charge so again just it just they just go that next level of customer service and it's, it's it, in a way it's a bit for me it's strange because this is their commercial division right the raptor sits within their commercial division and they just look after their customers so well uh, and I'm sure it's not because it's commercial I'm sure it's not I'm sure they have that on the on, on the uh, on the consumer side of their business as well it's just something that Land Rover Marshall's Land Rover really need to you know watch maybe they should watch this video if they're connected and they communicate with each other get them to watch this video that's how you treat their customers um, I will be doing an update on the Land Rover Defender because there is some better news there. But if you haven't already watched my last video about that, click on this link up here. Uh, with this, um, now that the warranty has 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 expired and has finished, I've got some options, I guess, now that the warranty has expired. 
especially considering they've just brought out the latest Raptor, um, which I think will be ready. I think they said they're going to be able to take orders in September. I will go and double check that fact just to see uh, what 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 exactly or what exactly the time frames are on them. But I, ima I imagine people won't be getting deliveries for the new Raptor for a long time. Um, so it'll be interesting to see kind of what what the situation is with that. Um, thank you. Very fierce looking woman. Um, <laughs> Anyway, so, um, but I keep looking at, I, I do keep looking at pictures of the new Raptor and I'm just, I don't know, I, I guess it's one of those things that will, I guess it will, the, the, the new design will grow on you as, as time goes by and you get used to it, but I really like the look of this one to be honest, and I think this is in the best colour, uh, it's that sort of the flat grey, I can't remember what, exactly what they call it, but it's, you know, flat grey colour, it's really, really nice, uh, and they say it's one of the most popular colours. The values of these have still are sky high. I could, I think, I could still get a, about forty thousand pounds for this car, considering I paid twenty nine for it a few years ago. Now, I think, I think my circumstances are slightly exceptional because I, uh, yeah, I think I got a very good deal. But um, yeah, the fact that I've driven this and. It wouldn't have lost any money, really. Um, I mean, I, I know that these were about 50k new, um, but to have 20,000 miles on it, this is a 2019 car. We're now in 2022. To still get 40k, 42 maybe, if I sold it privately, that's pretty good. It's pretty decent. Um, so it does give me a few options, really, because I because I could get this in probably quite a good trading um, deal done on this I've got a few options uh, and, and I'm actually currently driving down to Ford right now just to see what sort of options there are um, I have actually been keeping my eye on and this is something that actually John uh, <laughs> he recommended to me to look at was the MSRT um, Ford uh, Ford Transit uh, the, the custom Ford Transit van so I'm gonna go have a look at a MSRT now I'm not gonna drive it because I think the one that they have there is brand new uh, it's not a demonstrator or anything I don't think you really need to drive them to to get an idea of what it's gonna be like to drive because it's just it's, it's a two litre I think it's got the same pretty much the same spec engine that this has got so the performance will probably be very very similar um, I have heard that They've made these vans so easy to drive. It's just like driving a normal car, maybe a slightly larger car or a SUV or something. But I'm gonna go see this MSRT. They are hellishly expensive, but I think they are pretty awesome looking. Um, and the amount of practicality that you get with it is incredible. In a way, it would be slightly, I think it would be a, a bit more practical than a truck just because everything I put in the back there, it's not secure, it's not protected. Um, if I can fit mountain bikes in the back of that, happy days. I can lock it up. I'm not gonna keep them in there overnight, obviously, but you get an idea. It's a lot more secure for the sort of, um, if you're doing a short journey, if you need to park up. I often like, I often want to go to the supermarket after maybe doing a bike ride, and I can't because I know that I'd be leaving my mountain bike hanging off the back of the car, uh, the truck, which is probably not the best idea. So buying a van, I never really thought I would want to buy a van, but after looking at the MSRTs, they are very cool. And actually, to be honest, I quite like the idea of even the normal ones, the normal transits, you know, it doesn't have to be an MSRT necessarily. Uh, but the great thing about uh, the one I'm looking at today is it's got I think it's a six seater one I think the preference would be to go for a five seater because with a six seater you get the two seats up, uh, up front two passenger seats up front which means you can't adjust them you don't get the adjustability you don't get the adjustability so I probably want to go for five seats I think they swivel as well um, so and you get full adjustability on the passenger side and then you'll get the three seats at the back and I, I think because it because of the size of it you just get loads more space and then of course you've got the entire storage behind so it is it is something I'm considering I don't think it's something that's gonna happen anytime soon but 
I'd be interested to know what you guys think. Should I keep the Raptor or should I change it for uh, MSRT for transit? Let me know what you think. <clears throat> Let's go over to Ford now and uh, take a look. Look at the front. So you get a really, really nice sporty looking body kit at the front here. You get these lovely Ozard Racing wheels, very similar to what I have on the Lotus Esprit, although not rally spec, but they're pretty, pretty, pretty wicked to be honest. Um, this color, this, this particular van is in black. As I mentioned, it is the long wheelbase. So it's huge. It is really, really long. Let's just have a quick look in the rear just to give you an idea of what you get. So this has got the sort of the barn doors as they call them. Um, it's got a, so it's got the reversing camera down here and then you've got the mirror. Uh, so, so this camera is actually for the uh, rear view mirror inside, which we'll have a look at in a second. And then here we've got the, um, the space in the back and it's huge. I'm not going to get in it because I don't want to mess it up. This is a brand new van, um, but you'd easily get bikes in there and you wouldn't have to put them at an angle either. They'd go in straight, so you've got a lot of space in there to be honest with you. Just move back so you can see. So here's the rear of it. You've got the nice exposed exhaust pipes at the back. I mean, obviously it's a diesel, so it's, uh, it's not going to make the noise. It's more for show, but still looks pretty damn awesome and you've got the spoiler on the back pretty nice i love those wheels fantastic and then basically this is the inside so you've got three seats in the back look at this sort of mixture between alcantara and leather on the back it looks really really nice really smart really cool decent sized leg room really decent sized leg room this particular car has got the uh it's got six seats in the front. Sorry, <laughs> it's got three seats in the front. Um, I think I would probably want to spec five seats in the front so you get an adjustable passenger seat. But what you don't get with that, you you can get them customized afterwards to get them to swivel. But at the moment you cannot get, them. these would not swivel if you spec it with uh, with five, uh, with, with five seats, which is two seats in the front. <clears throat> down here you've got a 230 volt um, three pin socket I believe yeah so you've got your three pin socket down there which is really useful and again nice Alcantara gear stick obviously we've got the display there this is pretty cool uh, so if I just turn on the ignition what you get is you get a nice, this is the same unit that they have in the, this is the same unit that they actually have in the Defender. So it's got exactly the same controls to adjust the, uh, the height of the, um, so you can adjust the height and the brightness of the, uh, so you can sort of point down, you can point up, this is exactly the same one that they have in the Defender, so it works in exactly the same way. But yeah, this is, this is what it looks like to basically sit in an MSRT van. I'm not going to be driving it today because this is a brand new car, but I would love to know what you guys think about 
this. Again, this has got the same uh, software as the Raptor in it, so this is the latest uh, software in the Raptor. But yeah, this car is absolutely fantastic. How many miles has this got? Oh, I've got all my doors open. Let's have a look. I mean, just look at the functionality that this thing's got. I mean, this is a van. This steering wheel is super sporty. I mean, look at it, it's ridiculous. It looks so cool. Yeah, but this car's done three miles. It's brand new, literally. What I love about Transit, massive bottle holder, loads of cup holders everywhere. Just what you need. This, this thing would be incredible for a long journey. And actually, to be honest with you, I don't, I don't even mind the uh, the six seat configuration. This is quite nice as well. You get like, you can actually put that down, get some more cup holders if you needed them. <laughs> so yeah, and then you've got a nice armrest here, for the driver's seat, pretty nice. So yeah, very, very, very cool. Very impressed indeed. So yeah, this is the MSRT. Let me know what, what you guys think. Right, hopefully you enjoyed the uh, the little tour of the MSRT. Let me know what you guys think of it. I think it's pretty awesome. So uh, yeah, if you think I should go ahead and look at getting one of them, then uh, <laughs> we'll see what we can do. But um, yeah, likewise, if you think I should keep the Raptor, then yeah, let me know what you think. Um, but as, as, as usual, the guys down at um, the guys down at Ford are, everyone down at Marshalls Ford is so friendly. Nice, uh, a big thank you to Aaron for letting me uh, look around the MSRT, he pulled it out in front of the, the showroom there for me. So yeah, no, it was really, really nice. Everyone there is so friendly. Um, um, so yeah, I definitely would, would, would buy another car from them purely down to the experience and the great customer service that those guys give. So um, yeah, I would recommend it. Um, but anyway, I'll see you for the next video. Give this one a like if you like, uh, give this one a thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you for the next one. Take care guys, see you later, bye.